Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to um, forward some ports on your router. Alright, um, for port forwarding is um, telling your router to allow that incoming traffic from that you know, port. So, first thing you want to do is load up your internet. Uh, I'm using a Netgear. So, the Netgear's default website is routerlogin.net. Click on that. As soon as it goes in there, it's going to ask for a username and password. Type that in. And hit OK. Now this is going to be the basic configuration of your um, your router that you're using. This is where you can set up, you know, the basic settings, the wireless settings for passwords and stuff, you know, to get on your um, your internet. Uh, the modes. Well, all the way down here in advanced is wire uh, port forwarding and port triggering. Click on that, and there's already uh, some enabled automatically, and there's some that they have in case you have this stuff. Well, it's not important. Uh, important. What's important is go to add a custom service. Now here you can type in anything you want for the name because you're going to uh, open these ports for uTorrent. I named it just P2P. And make sure the service type is on TCP UDP. Right. Now the starting point you, um, is uh, it's, uh, it depends on what ports are good. It takes a quite a uh, bit of googling to figure out which one to use but um, I myself found good um, using 4, 5, 6 Seven one, and you guys start at any point. Which I'll make four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Uh, yeah, that was a coincidence. I didn't mean for it to be like that. But your server IP address is always going to be the same, same as it was on the previous screen. Then hit apply. Hit apply. I already set it up earlier right here. And so um, this is pretty basically telling your router that these ports are going to be open for uh, allowing incoming traffic and outgoing traffic. And that's it. When you're done with that, make sure you hit log out so you know you're logged out. And that's it.